welcome back to the channel and today we are checking out crash lander i didn't that was timing that timing was perfect i did not know that was going to show up when i said that this is a survival mod in scrap mechanic that uh adds a whole lot apparently to survival and i'm checking it out because we just got word from scrap mechanic themselves that survival is not coming out in 2023 and I need my survival fix. So this should give a fresh new survival experience. And I completely forget how to even play survival, to be honest. It's been that long. But uh, down at the bottom right, I see a blinking little thing there. I'm going to press L. Open up the log here. And it looks like planet Broria 51KU has been bought from the company for Terra. They have not harvested any resources, but they have built a headquarters to monitor the planet. There's no inhabitants except for some animals. Wait, so no bots? For Terra claims to have collected all employees from the planet. Okay. Explore, find ore deposits, start harvesting the resources. So that's my mission, I guess. There's also this, for Terra Info. Company that explores planets and star systems, finding resource-rich planets. They only harvest planets on rare occasion. Owned by multiple trillionaires. The head being Mr. Zaluk. Forterra has some illegal records regarding lying to get planets with rich resources. Okay, not much is known about their real intentions in exploring the planets. System failure. All right, communications lost with HQ. Breach detected, losing oxygen. This must be where I am now. Eject immediately. All right, so uh, I don't know what that means. Can I? I'm gonna kind of take some of this stuff. I'm gonna take that. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this. I should start exploring this landing site. I need to find where my ship crashed. Hopefully, the power source hasn't exploded. Otherwise, I will be stuck here forever. All right, I really, I honestly, I don't want this radio, but I'm gonna keep it just in case. Ooh, batteries. Uh, I can use the seat. Don't know if I need any. Can I use the? Oh, so this is a crafting thing. Okay, so connect tool would be useful for later. I think I just picked up a scrap axe. Not exactly good, but it gets the job done. Then there's a pickaxe. Works good enough to damage some rocks and ores. So we need metal block and scrap wood block. In order to make metal block, we need raw metal block. That's new. That did not exist before. And then also a scrap workbench. Make some basic stuff to get you started, but don't expect much. Upgrade to better crafting station when you can. And yeah, I feel like this connect tool is like way out of my, uh, way out of my potential right now. But let's see, what do I do? Explore? Oh, is that smoke I see? Oh wait, it looks like fire smoke. Could be a piece of my ship. I'll go check it out. Is that it there? All right, I'm gonna go in this direction where the big icon is. And I'll pick up some stuff. Whoa, I got scrap metal block. I thought that was going to be hard to get. I'm so lucky I came across that. Because, like, is there more of that stuff around here? I don't see any other ones. Wait, what about... Can I knock down a tree here? Wait, is this as fast as... This is as fast as I can swing right now. Oh, I got to refine it. Ah, uh, yes. I'm, I'm remembering. It's all coming back to me now. Now I got wood. And I'm going to be able to pick up the... Uh, the, or craft the pickaxe in no time. All right, I'm just going to finish refining this tree. And then see if I can craft the pickaxe. Look what I got from the tree, a birch sapling. Let's see what it says. When watered, it begins to grow, matures into a leafy birch tree. Can be planted using the vacuum pump. Okay, so we could have a, we could plant trees. That's actually, I don't think we could do that in the original survival. We could plant uh, crops like tomatoes and food and stuff, but not trees. Wait, how am I supposed to, I have a thirst meter. I don't know, I don't know what I use to eat. All right, uh, oh wait, 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 before I go, can I craft the ax? Let me ask you a question. And I craft the axe. The axe. Oh, look at that. All right. Well, we're off to a good start. 30 seconds. All right. Well, I'll go do stuff for 30 seconds. I should honestly. Oh, corn. Corn. Can I eat the corn? Because in the original scrap mechanic, you couldn't even eat the corn, I don't think. Like, you had to use it for cows almost exclusively. Walks love to eat corns. All right. Seems like it's pretty much the same thing. <gasps> I could use this rock. I mean, I could uh, pickaxe that rock. Wait, can I do this? Requires a better axe. All right. Let me do this kind of tree while I'm waiting. Because this might have a different sapling, which I don't know. Or actually, it'll have different wood, shouldn't it? This will have the not scrap wood. This will have the wood wood, right? Am I right about that? Uh, nope, this is also scrap wood. Now, I think it's the um, oak tree. I forget what kind of trees they are. Spending a lot of time crafting stuff when my mission is not to be crafting stuff right now. My mission should probably be find water, to be honest. I don't have food or water right now. All right, well, the good news is I got a whole bunch of wood. So now let's get back to our ship. And can I add a beacon here? I don't know if I'll ever have to come back here. I mean, I'll have to come back here to craft the crafting table. So, all right, collect. 
Woo! All right, progress. Now I got a pickaxe. Oh, that has a double hit. This is how. This is the uh, fire. Or the fire rate. I guess the hit rate. I'm holding down the mouse button. So there's a big pause. All right, let's head over to the smoke pillar. I hope I didn't like waste too much time and I made it impossible for me to survive the beginning of this. Oh, there's the smoke pillar. Excellent. I wonder what's stronger, the pickaxe or the axe against enemies. Oh, is this our ship? Hello, walk. Would you like some corn? There you go. Oh, what is that? Scavenge everything you can. All right, I'll let the walk eat while I scavenge. All right, what do we got? Pick up. Did that give me, oh, scrap metal. Yeah, a bunch of scrap metal. All right, scrap metal, scrap metal, scrap metal. What? Do I got to use this? There we go. What is this? Copper block? Scrap wood? Scrap wheel? All right. There we go. Is that everything? Craft a scrap workbench. Okay, let's check on the cow here. Ah, we got some milk. We will no longer die of thirst. You know what? Have more corn. Is that all the corn I had? Oh, I got one more corn. Here, have one more corn. Please give me more milk. Dang it. Here, I'm gonna go get this cow some more. All right, just give me one more milk. There we go. All right, now I've... I've sat... I'm satisfied with that. Let's head back and craft a workbench. Wait, how does that work? Do I carry the workbench with me and I can place it anywhere? Do, like, I don't... I can't... I don't have a workbench, like, recipe in my inventory. I'm curious how this is gonna work. All right, there we go. Workbench. I definitely have the materials. So there we go, 40 seconds. I will get more uh, corn in the meantime because, oh no, rock, I'll get some stone. There's a stone right over here. I do not have any of this yet. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? I need to upgrade my ax. How do I, whoa, what is that? Hold on, what, do, what, what is that? Coal block. Okay. Well, we're getting like 10, 15. I feel like we're getting more materials per block uh, compared to what we used to have in survival. I don't remember exactly though. All right, my 40 seconds are probably up now. It took me 40 seconds just to get that. All right, so now we've got a workbench. Use the mod menu. It's used for equipping armor, adjusting the mod setting. Equipping armor and viewing achievements. Well, oh, what's this? Wait, can I just, I'm gonna put it in my inventory. Oh, and I can take it with me. Okay, excellent. Whoa, okay. All right, so we can craft wheels and stuff now. What is this? Scrap sword? Poor man's defense or offense, still faster than using the axe or pickaxe. Should I craft that right now? I can. Hold on. Hold on. I really need to focus on what I need, though. I need metal. Wait, there's two different types of metal. Oh, there's two different recipes of metal. So this uses coal. How much metal do I need? I need a lot of metal for everything else. I can craft 15 metal with 30, oh no, five coal block, okay. Craft a radio receiver. Oh, that's my mission right now. Radio receiver, I need, oh, I did need the radio. All right, well, let's craft that, get that started. I'm also gonna do the sword. I feel like the sword is gonna be essential. And then, what else did I need? A bearing requires 10 metal and five oil for a single bearing. Oh, I'm remembering the grind now. Who, who would craft these? Who would craft a hard work sign? All right, wait, what was I gonna do? I should probably drink some milk. Oh, look at that. It shows you what it's crafting as well. All right, well, let's collect the radio receiver. The radio receiver is an important tool for advancing the story. Hold the left mouse button to scan for any signals in your area. Interesting. It may be a good idea to use it from time to time. This is a radio, radio receiver. So the problem right now is I also don't know how to open up the that mod inventory. Head over to the location of the unknown signal. Okay, cool. I like that. All right, now we've got our scrap sword. Here, let's use our scrap sword in the front there. Let's see what this looks like. Can I use a scrap sword to cut down this stuff? Dang it, a saw. Ooh, we can we can modify our ax into a saw at some point. All right, let's bring this craft table with us. All right, so now we've got escape pod. Better keep the escape pod coordinates handy. Oh, set waypoint. Sweet. Unknown signal detected. Set waypoint. Oh, okay. So this is just, I can come here and set my waypoint back here whenever I need. That's good. Um, why do I feel like I'm missing a crafting? Oh, the connect tool. Is that also on the workbench? All right, I'll worry about the connect tool when I actually have bearings. Okay, so now what do I want to do? I guess I want to go there, but I also wanted to figure out how to open up the thing. Let me go into my options and see what my keybinds are doing. Oh, that must be my middle mouse button. So control, middle mouse button, there we go. Ooh, okay, this is interesting. So I got armor, extras, 
Achievements? There's achievements? Obtain crude oil? Whoa. Reach 88 miles per hour? Oh, this is int This is really cool. True first person? What is true first person? Wait, what? Okay. Whoa, true first person. I can see my body. I can see into my body a little bit too. That's kind of cool. All right, I don't like true first person anymore. Okay, so let's head over to the location of the unknown signal. I hope this paint pigment is more useful than just for paint because it's a lot, it's really abundant right now and I'm just picking it up. Do we have like inventory limitations? I, I don't think we had inventory limitations in the original uh, survival. Whoa, oh loot, I forgot about loot boxes. Where's it gonna be? Sunshake, okay, I'm cool with the sunshake. All right, oh, it's all the way across the water. Look how far that is. I don't even know how far across the water it is. What if it's like way on the other side of the world? Head over to the location of the unknown signal. I'm gonna do another scan. Oh, loot box. Can I scan while I move? Yes, I can. Yes, I scan. Scan complete. All right, it looks like that's the only thing right now. Ooh, a tomato. And a circuit board. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Ooh, honey. Let's get some honey. Eh. There we go. Or beeswax, I guess it's called. Any more beeswax around here? Yeah. I'm just gonna collect all the easy things to collect on the way. Which excludes trees and stone. All right, I guess I'm gonna swim across the water here. I wonder if this is procedurally generated or not. All right, there might be some oil. Oh yeah, and clams, glue, glue clams. Forgot about these things as well. Oh, I see oil. Oh wait, I gotta, I forgot, I gotta breathe. I'm underwater. <laughs> I'm not used to having to breathe in uh, creative mode. There we go. All right, now let's get this oil. Black gold achievement unlocked. Oh, there's a little glow bug. Uh, I don't have any cardboard to feed him, unfortunately. Oh, we're about to die. Oh, I'm losing health. Come on, there we go. Let's get some more oil. I'm actually kind of glad now that it was across the water because it encouraged me to go swimming and get some underwater only materials. All right, we are almost on the other side of the shoreline. Wait, what's that? What's that? Hang on, is that a house I see in the distance? No. It's a hill. There's... That looks like a, a danger animal, a danger dog. I don't know how much damage they do. I'm gonna approach. Hello. Oh, oh wait, wait. Oh. Wait, are you attacking? Okay, he's probably gonna be attacking now. Ow, all right, 10 damage, that's not bad. Oh, he uh, exploded into confetti. All right, wolf hide. I guess there really are no bots. It's all like nature, natural stuff. Oh, here's the house. Finally, we got to a house, a house on a hill. Why is that one running? Why are you, who, what are you running from? What are you, what are you running from? Oh, okay, apparently they chase. What are you? Uh, a tusk cow? Interesting. Oh no, is this house on fire? It's probably a fireplace. Whoa, hello stranger. Whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Can I have? Can I have this? I got an orange seed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, wait, no. Come get me. Come get me. No, don't come get me. Stay over there. Come on. Was he doing this? Yeah, he was doing that. That's cool. You can use the uh, wolves to uh, chop down trees. All right, here, I'm going to give you a whole bunch of stuff to eat while I talk to this uh, stranger. All right, hello, stranger. The stranger's actually like doing things. I thought it was like a, a real person for a second. Go away. Oh, okay. All right, well, we're not talking to this stranger anymore. Okay, who are you? Are you a 4Terra employee? What, who, me, no, who are you? I'm a mechanic from Wonk Enterprise. That's a little wonky. 4Terra or Wonk, they're all the same to me, go away. Wait, if you are not a 4Terra employee, how are you on this planet? I was always on this planet, now go away. We are, we're bad at listening. Well, what does that mean? Are there more people on this planet? No, yes, maybe, I don't know, now leave me alone. Wait, what does that mean? It means leave me alone. This guy, he's he's been pretty clear. He's being pretty clear, okay? No, wait, can you tell me more about Forterra? Like where their HQ is? No, hmm, F first bring me 40 coal. Oh, I should have, I should have done more stone stuff. All right, ooh, look at all the milk. All right, milk. All right, now I got to gather 40 coal. Actually tells me. So, ooh, looks like there's something that could be built here. I'm gonna eat some of my milk. All right, so I have how many coal? I have 30. Oh, I'm actually not that far behind. Ooh. Oh, I got some, looks like some metal ore. I need coal though. Whoa, what is that? That's not coal. 
Okay, I gotta start refining some of this stuff. What is this? Oh, copper block. Okay, it looks sandy. Finally, some coal. All right, I'm just gonna get this coal and finish refining this stuff and get out of here. All right, hello, stranger. Can you leave me alone? No, I have the coal you asked for. Did you actually gather the coal just because I asked you to? Pretty much. You're one interesting guy. Now, give me the coal. There you go. Quest completed. Now, I don't need to go mine for coal. You can go now. Well, thanks. Wait, I wanted to ask you some questions. Who are you? His name is Bill. Hey, that's, that's my name. Well, I crashed on this planet while I was traveling. So do I need to say, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Our planet was owned by Forterra before Wonk Enterprises bought it. So I need to know where the HQ is located so I can contact Wonk to come save me. Listen, kid, I don't remember know where their base is, so I can't help you. Do you at least know who Forterra is? Well, yeah, I do know who they are. Do you know anybody associated with them? No. <laughs> Are you certain about that? You appear a little strange. Well, he is a stranger. This is how I always am. Hmm. If you don't have any more questions, I have stuff to do. Can you find me? finally leave me alone? Okay. My goal, my mission is to leave Bill alone. Well then. Uh, does this ladder work? Oh, <gasps> the ladder works? All right, my goal, my mission is to leave Bill alone. Let's see if I can accomplish this very difficult task. First, I'm going to uh, steal some of his wood. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, he's not happy with me. He's like actually coming over to watch what I'm doing. All right, I'm leaving you alone. I don't know what to do with myself now. You're kind of my only friend on this planet. All right, have I leave left build alone enough? All right, I'm gonna do a scan. Maybe there's another thing. Scan complete. Anything? Dang, I don't see anything. All right, I'm gonna put my craft bench down, see if anything else. Unlock level zero. How do I unlock these? I don't remember. Wait, I can't make a connect tool here? I actually have to go all the way back to the other thing to make a connect tool? Why wouldn't this have a connect tool available? All right, I'm a little bit confused. It says leave Bill alone, but the the quest to, the quest signal for that is at Bill. I feel like that's not the best way to leave him alone. Maybe I should talk to him one more time and just not leave him alone. Hey, Bill. Hey. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. What do you want? Oh, bye. All right, I'll leave you alone. All right, I'm just gonna head off in this dirt. I'm just gonna walk. Ha, huh, get it? Walk. Ooh, a component kit. So there are component kits. Okay. I'm gonna kill this thing. Sneaking up from behind. Pew! Wait, how did he, he hit me? I, his butt was facing me and I got hurt. Wait, this guy's actually doing a lot of damage. You can't even see their attack. They just, you just lose health. Okay, that was actually a little bit difficult. Oh, there's like, there's something over here. How is he on this planet? Forterra should have already left the planet. They are also said that nobody lives here. Oh, I guess I got far enough away finally to leave him alone. Why? Did he live here before Forterra came? No, that can't be. He said it isn't a Forterra employee, but I don't believe it. He seemed very suspicious when I asked him about these things. He must have worked for Forterra at some point. And the further I go, the more dialogue happens. Man, this is crazy. I should explore a little more. Having the radio in the escape pod was so lucky. I was able to make this radio receiver. Better keep scanning for more signals. All right, got the hint. Achievement unlocked, mysterious stranger. Recipes unlocked, workbench. Head over to the location of the unknown signal. Another unknown signal. So now that's Bill's house. Cool. We know that signal now. Let me put this bench down real quick. Now we have this. So we need 30 metal and 55 wood so i'll craft a little bit of i can only craft a little bit of metal i also need regular wood we'll craft that and then we're going over there to the unknown signal oh i need some milk man i need a lot more of that stuff at least i i can craft a decent amount of wood block how much do i need i need 55 well i'll take a break from this for now and i'll just head over to the waypoint because i do not i do not have enough coal to uh, make the next batch of metal block I need five coal or 10 coal. Oh wait, I don't have shadows on. Let me turn the shadows on real quick. All right, I feel like I gotta stop picking up so much stuff because I just realized I do have limited inventory slots and I don't have any storage containers. Ooh, cotton. <laughs> As I just say that, I come across a new material. All right, I'm gonna pick up some cotton so I have it at least, right? See a loot crate over here. So I'm taking a little, took a couple loot crates. <gasps> wait, what? That was... The get up thing was weird. I've never seen that before. All right, there's a couple loot crates over here though. So worth it. Whoa, oh, that actually scared me. Whoa, that was so fast. What is this? A compact computer and a component kit. Wait, is he running away? Ah, these things are so hard. I don't know how to avoid them. Oh, there's more. Okay, there's one down. Come on. 
Alright, this one I have an easier time just by moving straight backwards. There we go. Alright, that was actually... Uh, I, I wasn't sure how that was going to go. So hold on. A very small and simple computer for doing a little more complex but simple tasks. Better known under the name small multi-purpose computer. Has four modes. Takes the input with the most power at its power level. Let's you change the power output which affects engines. Has to be activated or connected to the driver's seat to function. Power may be limited between negative 100 and 100 for some in interactables. What? So you can change the amount of power that your engine is outputting? That's an option that we don't have in regular scrap mechanic. Once you set the power level of your engine, you got to get out of your seat to reset it. So that could be interesting. Whoa, what is this? We're getting closer to the unknown signal. All right, here we are. Investigate the antenna. All right, hopefully I get some good parts around here. For terror confidential. Can I pick that up? Oh, I can. What's this? Put this piece of modern technology inside a floppy disk reader to read its contents. All right, I'll have it on me for now. Looks like some kind of storage. I should ask Bill about this. Maybe he has something for me that I can use. All right, there has to be more around here. Also, this antenna is huge, and this close to his house, he has to know something. Whoa, wheel tire components. Okay, my inventory is full. I'm probably gonna have to drop some corn, or maybe not corn, maybe some of this. Maybe I'll eat an orange or something. What about up there? I wonder. Here, let me just do a real quick test, make sure this works how I expect it to work. Anything up here? Oh my goodness, there is. There's a component kit right there. Anything else? I feel like I'm risking my life right now. Like, I could probably die if I fall off of this. There's got to be something up at the top of that one. Okay, nothing up there. Nailed it. Oh, wait. Spring component. Almost missed that. It's hard to see, like, what you can take. Sometimes it just blends in so well. All right, so now we've got to go back to Bill's house. So let's set the waypoint and head on back. Oh, oh, wait, so I gotta press this 20 times to get up? Is that what that means? Probably, that's probably what that means. So I wonder, are there not warehouses in this version? Because one of the big things in uh, normal survival, vanilla survival, is the warehouses, and I have to investigate this right here. What is this? This is a new piece of terrain. Here we go, here we go. All right, I'm on it. Anything down there? Oh, there's a loot box down there. Okay, so there is that. Uh, I'm not seeing anything up here. Okay, here we go. I hope I don't get stuck in here. Kind of looks like you could get stuck in here. Am I stuck in here? All right, component kit, carrot seeds. I think I'm actually stuck in here. I mean, I can build my way out at least. I hope I can get some of this back. There he is, tending to his eggplant. All right, hey, Bill. I got something. I need your help. I found something, but I don't know what it is. I'll do anything to get off this planet. All right, show me what you got. Ah, oh, no, no, no. No, 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 I can't. What? He's doing 20 damage? I hope that didn't ruin, like, the dialogue. We're under attack, Bill. Help. All right, now come get me. What are they doing? Oh, they're actually coming up the stairs. We're all in danger. How do you not see this? All right, I hope that didn't ruin anything. I need your help. All right, he just snatched the thing from me. Where'd you find this? From the abandoned Forterra antenna. How'd you find the antenna? I mean, it's a giant antenna. Do you know what this is? No, that's why I came to you, but you just snatched it from me. Did you at least read what's written on it? It says confidential. Poor Terror finds out we're going to be in trouble. Uh, there, only, there are only the both of us on this planet. No, there isn't, you dummy. Wait, what did you just say? You said that there were more people here? No, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. I knew it, you were a Forterra employee. Oh God, I messed up. So do you know where the Forterra HQ is? Tell me, I can't, why? Because I was a Forterra employee, but I, can, I can't just tell you where the HQ is because I don't remember it. How do you forget about it? Do you at least know any landmarks near the base? No, it's been a long time since I left them and I don't wanna talk about this right now. Oh, well, I want to know more about the topic. Well, I don't know what it is either, but I remember some guys talking about a floppy disk, or so I think. This might have been what they were talking about. My old colleagues, but that isn't the point. I need to study it first. What can I do then? I will not be able to farm food, so you can do that for me. Carrots and red beets, five of each. And here are the seeds, some soil and a watering can. Okay, cool. If you lose the seeds, I will give you more only in return for something. All right. Yeah. So I have to grow five carrots and red beets. Do I have water in this? Like, where do I get the water? Oh, I probably go over to the water to get the water. <laughs> that makes the most sense, doesn't it? All right, well, I'm gonna leave this off here. If you guys are enjoying Crash Lander while we wait for chapter two, let me know if you wanna see more of this and see where this goes. I'm curious what this four Terra HQ is all about. Um, and in the next episode, I will be growing, learning how to farm. We have this fancy watering can. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. 
Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrabman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.